Okay, thank you so much, Scott. Yesterday, we reported on a Match.com study claiming that 81% of single men say sex is less important to them now than it was before the pandemic. And in fact, the New York Post, they even had articles saying single men just don't care about sex anymore. That was the headline. And also, what about single women? What about married couples? Now, we wonder, now we're wondering, how has this pandemic affected everybody and your love life? So we're bringing in Dr. Heather, who's a board certified clinical sexologist and the owner of the Studio for Sexual Health, Wellness and Education. Good morning. Good morning. Did you see this headline? What was your reaction when you saw it? Single men just don't care about sex anymore. <sighs> yes. So my first reaction was thoughtful because I'm a sex therapist mm -hmm. and a researcher. So I said, oh, wait a minute. Let me think about my clientele and the people that I serve in general and the research that I've read. Mm -hmm. And have you noticed it? No, actually, you know, I'm going to say something. I think this has been the pandemic has given people an opportunity to kind of come out of hiding. Basically, stigma has been on men for a really long time around sex, around mm -hmm. performance, right? Mm -hmm. Performing. So I think this gave them a window to be honest and say, I want more of an emotional connection. Mm. I don't believe that all men like we believe in our society want sex only. I think this gave them a little peek through the window. Like, wait a minute. I had time to sit with my spouse or sit with my partner or sit with whoever, whatever they call the person they're dating or mm -hmm. being single time to think about, Hey, I want an emotional connection. I was, we were talking about this yesterday and I brought up, I had a friend who, because you know, everyone, we were concerned about COVID. So when they were starting out dating, they couldn't see each other. So they would sit and talk or meet in the park at a distance. Yes. And then that's how that developed. But then we were also thinking, well, they do say there's that common phrase. If you don't use it, you'll lose it. <laughs> Is that true? And could that possibly you know, apply in this case? That, you know, and I do, when I do workshops, mm -hmm. that's part of what I do. I debunk the myths, okay. right? So that's one of them. If you don't use it, you're going to lose it. So you're not going to lose anything. Right. Mm -hmm. You 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 don't have to use it. It's always going to be there. And it's not true that if you meaning how many times you use it, you'll be better because mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. You know, it's it's the person. Everybody's different when it comes to sex. Okay. So, yes, people will get better in time and practice if they try. But it depends. Everybody's different. So somebody may touch you differently than somebody else may touch you. And the person who touched you the best may not think they're the best. Mm. OK, so there's levels to this. It's levels. Well, <laughs> e even if you were affected uh, by this, you have recommendations for how to keep that connection strong or things you can do if you feel yes. like you need a, you know, a, a pick me up when it comes to that department. So let's start with single people. Yes. What are your recommendations for them? So if you're single and you, so I would first say, figure out what you want, right? Mm -hmm. Going, being single, because being single doesn't always mean that you want to have a relationship or be partnered with somebody, right? right? So be so clear about your intentions. Be, mm -hmm. be clear about your intentions. Figure out what you want, mm -hmm. right? And then when you go in, I would say, take advantage of our virtual world, right? During the pandemic, a lot of virtual dating mm -hmm. apps, you know, all these dating apps blew up, right? Mm -hmm. So get your questions ready. <laughs> Okay. And then get, you say give people more than one try. I saw that yes, in there. Yes, give fun. people more than one try. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yep. um, and then you say figure out the date before you leave home. And yes. do something out of the box. Yes, because sometimes we leave it, uh, wh whatever your gender, you leave it up to the other person and then you're disappointed, mm -hmm. right? So talk about it before you go. I always say communication is the biggest thing to do. Talk to the person. And then really quickly, because we're running out of time, but if you're in a relationship, your five tips are maintain a connection. So you work on that. It takes mm -hmm. work. Communicate. You've been talking about communication. Communication. Practice love conversations. Yes. Don't underestimate cuddling. Don't. Un and cuddling is skin contact, and we need it. And that was one of the issues with the pandemic. Right. People didn't have single people. Mm -hmm. And then weekly check-ins. Yes. So, hey, it's like a, almost like a review. Hey, did you like that? Did you not? That kind of thing. Or... Listen, I want more of this. Mm, okay. You did. You emptied the trash, and it was great. It it did something to me. So <laughs> I'd like for you to empty the trash every day. Okay. Right? Like yeah. check in at the end of the week, or I call them um, CEO meetings. CEO meetings. Yes. Love it. And of course, you can also check in with Dr. Heather. So how can people reach out to you? <laughs> yes. People can reach out to me on my website, which mm -hmm. is sexdrheather.com. Mm -hmm. S e x d r heather. dot com. Perfect. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. All right. Thank She's you. She's saying that's not the case, okay? They're still into it. We're still into it. <laughs> yes. Okay, coming up on